Hey everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Acres. And today is the first day of the renovation. Now for those of you who have been following us for a while, you'll recognize this as being our pantry laundry room. And when I did my tour the other day, I mentioned the fact that there were a few things that we needed to change up in here. We do not have enough storage and we just want to rearrange things so that it's more efficient. Henry and I were able to score some of the equipment we need. We wanted to put some more of these shelves in. They didn't have everything we needed in the store, but they had enough to get us started. So what I need to do first is clear this place out. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting a new set of shelves up here. I am going to be putting up a thermal Roman blind here so that when it's extra hot we can keep the heat out and as I mentioned earlier we're a passive solar house so in the winter time the sun just streams in here which is great for warming the house but not great for keeping your pantry cool. So we wanted to be able to keep that a little bit more reasonable. And we may also install a pot rack that we have in here. A century ago, our son gave us a really cool pot rack. And we've been able to use it a few different places. Right now it's hanging down in my studio where it's not doing much good for pots and pans, but I wanted to keep it safe. And I had a place I could stick it up there. So we're going to try and figure if we can put a place for that too, because we have some pots in the kitchen that we want moderately easy access to, but they don't need to be right there because they don't get used every day or even every week. But we still want, we don't want to have to dig them out of a cupboard somewhere. So we're going to see if we can figure a place to put that too, possibly up in here somewhere. But we're going to work on that. Maybe even put it up here. Got to get started. So let's get started. Unfortunately, this is sort of a storage area for paint supplies and a couple pieces of kitchen equipment. I think at least one of which is probably going to be donated to the thrift shop. This part of the project is going exactly to plan. Irene's moving things out of the pantry to places where they can stay elsewhere in the house. We're making other storage places for some of these things, yet others will go up on the shelves when the shelves are done in here. And now for something valuable. These pieces of paper were actually used the last time I was installing something over here. And the reason they were used is because what we did is while our walls were still open, we took pictures. So when I'm looking at this wall and I wonder, well, gee, exactly where does that electrical line go? We know that anytime it went through a stud, we put cover plates on it as is mandated by code and common sense for that matter. But it's still nice to know exactly where the electrical lines are, exactly where the PEX tubing is for the water lines, everything. And it's all right there in a nice tidy picture that hopefully you can see. <laughs> and we have one of those for most walls in the house. Not everything, unfortunately, but we did pretty good. And it's the crock pot, which I think was probably going to go to the thrift shop. We don't need it anymore. Ah, the margarita maker. Let's see. <laughs> gonna have to figure another place for this. All right, first I need to move some of the storage out of here so that I can stand closer. This says it's a ham, but it's actually wine. <laughs> Where the heck am I gonna put this? Let's see. <laughs> this is the, this becomes the challenge. This and this I have a place for, and this. My goal is to move this stuff without totally trashing the rest of the house. That's a challenge. <laughs> We have a few things here that we don't use very often. 
that I'm not ready to get rid of yet. I like the coffee maker. We usually just make our coffee with a French press machine. And we don't currently have cust uh, customers. <laughs> yeah, we don't need customers. We don't have any uh, visitors. Maybe we can stick this up here temporarily because I need to shift that over here. Because I need this to be completely clear. And we have to decide if we're going to keep this. This is a lovely toy. And there we go. Nice and dusty, but other than that, ready to go. Now all I need to do is find the studs in that wall and figure out exactly where I'm going to put everything over here. I was not able to get exactly the right size shelving, but they don't make it that size to fit that wall. But I was able to get something close enough that I can modify. So that's sitting in the office right now. And I'm going to go get that. And we'll get started. Okay. Got the best, the basic cleaning done. What's going to happen now is I'm going to get a ladder. <laughs> and this bracket is going to go way up there by the ceiling. And it's going to be screwed into the studs wherever it can be and where it can't be. I'll have to use toggle bolts to attach it to the wall. Then once this is in place, these verticals will hang on here. Let's see. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> My brain is going away. These verticals will hang on here like that and create a nice solid attachment. Go to the wall and yeah. I have to. It's been a while since I did this. I'm going to have to take a look at it closer. Hopefully I, they got the right pieces. They were so short on pieces the other day that it was ridiculous. But I'll double check these shelves here. We'll get this ready to go. I have to go finish. I'm canning, <laughs> canning tomato sauce today. And I got a couple of other things to do. I've got a spray for biting insects, chewing insects on the husk cherries and put some calcium on the tomatoes. So. See you later. I'll probably be wearing something different the next time you see me. 